Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this pretty little shell stitch bag. So for my bag I used a 4mm crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet so videos. So to begin your bag you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. And now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain and we are going to chain 27. So chain one, two, three, four, all the way up to 27. So I have just finished making my foundation chain of 27 and now we're ready to move on to round one. So to begin round one, we're going to do three half double crochets into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second chain and into this chain we're going to do three half double crochets. So yarn over and go down into this chain, then yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we have one half double crochet into that chain. So now yarn over, go back down into the same chain again and do a second one and then go back down into the same chain and do a third one. So there we have three half double crochets all into that chain. And now we are going to do one half double crochet into each of the next 24 chains. So we're doing 24 half double crochets, one into each chain. So yarn over and go into the next chain and do one into this one. Then do a second one into the next chain. And then a third into the next. And just keep going until you have 24. So I have just finished working those 24 half double crochets and when you do that you should find that you have one chain left at the very end. So you have the very first chain that you worked left and into this last chain we are going to do six half double crochets. So six all down into this very last chain at the end. So yarn over and go down into this chain and do one half double crochet and then do a second one and a third and a fourth, fifth, and then finally a sixth, like that. So there we have six half double crochets all into that last chain at the very end. And when we did that, we actually turned the corner. So, so far we did our slip knot, then we did our foundation chains up, then we worked half double crochets down. And when we did the six all into this chain at the end, we turn the corner and now for the rest of round one, we can begin working into the opposite side of our foundation chains. So we are going to keep working up along the opposite side of the chains and we are going to do 24 half double crochets or one half double crochet into each of the next 24 chains. So yarn over and go down into this first chain here into the opposite side and do one half double crochet. Then do one into the next one and I'm going into the opposite side 
and do one into this chain, then do one half double crochet into the next chain and one into the next and just keep going until you have 24. So I have finished working up along the opposite side of our chains and I did 24 half double crochets and once you have done that you should find that you have one chain left at the very end here and into this chain we're going to do three half double crochets. So yarn over, go down into this last chain and do three. like that. And now to finish off round one, we are going to do a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we worked. So if you're not sure which stitch to go into, then you can count back 60 stitches. So you should have 60 half double crochets in at the end of round one. And it's really important that you have that number. So I would recommend that you just go back and double check that you do have 60. So count one, two, three, four, all the way around to 60. And that will take you to the stitch that you need to do a slip stitch into. So the first half double crochet. So here is my first half double crochet. And I'm going to insert my hook into this stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on my hook. So work a slip stitch. So there we have finished round one and now we're ready to move on to round two. So to begin round two, you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So round two is just a simple round of half double crochet. We're just going to do one half double crochet into every single stitch around. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here that our chain one comes out of and do one half double crochet into this one. Then do one into the next stitch and one into the next and just do this all the way around. One half double crochet into each and every stitch. So I have finished working that all the way around for round two and at the end of this round you should still have 60 half double crochets and it's really important that you have that number so I would recommend that you quickly go back and just double check and then to finish off we're going to do a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we worked. So here is the first half double crochet. Make sure that you're not going into the little chain one, that you're going into the first half double crochet. Insert your hook into this stitch and work a slip stitch. And there we have finished round two. And this is going to form the bottom of our bag. And now we're ready to move on to round three. So to begin round three, you want to chain one. And in this round, we're going to be starting our pretty shell stitch pattern. So we're going to go down into this very first stitch here and work a single crochet. So insert your hook down into the first stitch that our chain one comes out of. Yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have one single crochet into that stitch. And now you want to skip two stitches. So skip one and two. And then into the next stitch, we are going to do a shell. And when we do a shell, we do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into the same stitch. So we have done single crochet, skip two stitches, and now you want to yarn over and go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. 
and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet and then chain one, yarn over, go back down into the same stitch again and do a second double crochet and then chain one and then do a third double crochet back down into the same stitch. And there we have done our first shell. And now you want to skip the next two stitches, skip one and two. So there we have done single crochet, skip two stitches, shell, skip two stitches. And we're going to repeat this all the way around for round three. So we have done shell, skip two stitches, so into this next stitch, do a single crochet, then skip one and two, and then into the next stitch, do a shell. So yarn over, go into the stitch, do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, so we have three double crochets with chains in between them for a shell and then skip the next two stitches and then we're going to repeat that again. Single crochet, skip two, shell, and just keep repeating that all the way around. Single crochet, skip two stitches, shell, skip two stitches. And whenever you do a shell, do three double crochets with chains in between them. So I have finished working that all the way around for round three. So I have finished off by doing a shell and then skip two stitches. And then to finish off this round, go into the first single crochet that you worked and do a slip stitch. So there we have finished round three and we're ready to move on to round four. So to begin round four, chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch and we're going to start off by going down into this first single crochet here and doing a shell. So just like we did last round, do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So yarn over and go down into this first single crochet and do a shell. So like that. So now you want to move on to the first shell here and we are going to go in the middle of this shell, so into the second double crochet. So we have one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets and go into the second one. Insert your hook into this double crochet, so the middle of the shell and do a single crochet. Yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through both loops. So there we have done a shell into the first single crochet and then a single crochet into the first shell. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. So every time we get to a single crochet, so here and here and here all the way around, you want to do a shell into that single crochet and then every time you get to a shell, so here, 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 go into the middle of that shell, so into the second double crochet and do a single crochet. 
So we're going to move on to the next single crochet here. Yarn over, go into the single crochet and do a shell. Like that. So there we have a shell into that single crochet and then move on to the next shell. Go into the middle of the shell. So one, two, go into the second double crochet and do one single crochet. Then move on to the next single crochet here and do a shell into this one. Then move on to the next shell, go into the middle, so the second double crochet and work one single crochet. And just continue this all the way so around. So I have finished working that all the way around for round four. So I have finished off by doing a single crochet into the last shell at the end. And then we're going to finish off this round by doing a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here is the very first double crochet. It's the first double crochet of the first shell. Insert your hook into this stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops. So there we have finished round four and you can see our little bag is starting to take shape. And now we're ready to move on to round so five. So we're now on to round five and we are going to start off this round by doing a slip stitch. So to finish off round four, we did a slip stitch into this first double crochet here. So the first double crochet of the shell. And to start off round five, we are going to do a slip stitch into this chain space. So the chain space right after that first double crochet. So insert your hook into the space and work a slip stitch. And this just takes us to the middle of the first shell, which is where we need to be. And now you want to chain one and then go into the double crochet. So this is the second double crochet of the shell. So the middle of the shell, go into this stitch and do a single crochet. So work a single crochet into the middle of that first shell. And now we're going to go to the next single crochet here and do a shell into this stitch. like that and then we're going to do a single crochet into the middle of this next shell and then a shell into the next single crochet here and you just want to continue this all the way along for round five we're doing the exact same thing as round four Whenever we get to a single crochet, we're going to work a shell. And then whenever we get to a shell, we're going to work a single crochet into the middle of the shell. And we're just doing that all the way around the same way as we did for round four. The only difference between the two rounds is that they start a little bit different. So they start in a different order. So just continue to work that all the way around, single crochet shell, single crochet shell for this round. So I have finished working that all the way around for round five. So I finished off by doing a last shell at the end. So you should finish this round with a shell. And then we're going to do a slip stitch into the first single crochet here to finish. So we are now on to round six. 
And for the next part of our bag, we are just going to repeat the last two rounds that we just did. So rounds four and five, four more times. So we have just done round five. So now you want to do round four again, then round five, then round four, then round five, then four, five, four, five. So just keep going until you have done four repeats of each round. And those two rounds are very similar and you may be able to remember what to do or you can go back in the video and re-watch those rounds. But for round four, you want to start off by chaining one and then do a shell down into this first single crochet and then do a single crochet into the next shell and just continue by doing shell, single crochet, shell, single crochet all the way around and finish off with a slip stitch. And then for round five, you start off by doing a slip stitch into the chain one space, then chain one, and then do a single crochet into the middle of that first shell, and then do a shell into the next single crochet, and then just do single crochet shell, single crochet shell, all the way around and finish off with a slip stitch. So round four starts off with a chain one and a shell and round five starts off with a slip stitch, chain one and then a single crochet. But other than that, the two rounds are exactly the same. So just keep repeating rounds four and five four more times. And then once you have done that, you should find that you reach the end of round 13. So just keep repeating those so rounds. I have just finished working those repeats. So you can see I have rounds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 complete. And I finished off round 13 with a slip stitch. And there we have completed the main part of our bag. And now we just need to do our little border at the top and make our strap. So what we're going to do for round 14, which is the first round of the border, is we're going to chain one, and this chain one does not count as a stitch. And now we're going to work a stitch called two half double crochets together. So when we do two half double crochets together, we do two half double crochets, one into each stitch, but we are not going to complete either of them. And then we're going to complete them both together at the same time. So we are effectively turning two stitches into one. So you want to start off by yarning over and going down into this first stitch here and then yarning over and pulling up a loop just as you would with a normal half double crochet. But you do not want to complete this half double crochet. Stop here. So usually we would yarn over and pull through these three loops, but you don't want to do that. We are going to move on to our next one. So yarn over, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. So there we have started a second half double crochet, but you do not want to complete this one either. So there we have two incomplete half double crochets and you should have five loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, and yarn over and pull through all five to complete the stitch. So there we have done two half double crochets together and we have turned two stitches into one. And now we are going to do one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So go into the next stitch here and do one. And then do one into the next stitch and a third one. And when you are going into the little chains, they can be pretty tricky to get into, but it's only for this round, so just have patience and just try and get in them. So there we have a third one, and then a fourth. So there we have done two half double crochets together, and then four half double crochets. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. So we're going to repeat that again. So yarn over, 
go into the next stitch and start to work a half double crochet, but do not complete it. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, and this is a little chain, so it's quite hard to get into, and start to work a second half double crochet. You should have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook, and pull through all five. So there we have done two half double crochets together, and now we're going to do one half double crochet into four stitches. like that. And just keep repeating this all the way around. Two half double crochets together, four half double crochets, two half double crochets together, four half double crochets. So I have finished working that all the way around for that round. So I finished off by doing four last half double crochets. And now we're going to finish off with a slip stitch into the first stitch that we worked. So into our first set of two half double crochets together. So there we have finished that round and we're ready to move on to the next one. So to begin this round, chain one. And this round is very similar to last round, but last round we did two half double crochets together and then four half double crochets. But in this round, we're going to do two half double crochets together and then three half double crochets. So do two half double crochets together. Like that. And then do one half double crochet then a second one, and then a third one. So there we have two half double crochets together, one, two, three half double crochets, and just repeat this all the way around. So I have finished working that all the way around. So now finish off with a slip stitch. Like that. And now we are on to the final round of our bag. So chain one, and this round is just a simple round of half double crochet. So just do one half double crochet into every single stitch around. So I have finished doing half double crochets all the way around and then when I got to the end I worked a slip stitch into the first one that I worked and then I fastened off so pulled my yarn out and my hook and cut my yarn leaving a tail to weave in later and we have finished the main part of our bag. So now the last thing that we need to do is make a strap. So here is a bag that I made earlier, it's the exact same pattern, and I just made a little strap using some chains. So I just laid my bag out flat, inserted my hook into the stitch at the end, and then I chained 100 really neatly. So I made sure that my chains were nice and neat, and then when I got to the other side, I just um, inserted my hook into the stitch on the opposite side and worked a slip stitch and then I fastened off and then you want to weave all of your ends into the inside of your bag and we have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find my Twitter account. So if you would like to go and follow me on there, I always like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter as well. 
and in the description box I will also leave a link to where you can find some of my written patterns if you are interested. And thank you again for watching. Bye!